everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new my name is dream and today guys is we are kicking off our 2024 fall season i got a little chai tea here with some ground cinnamon and we're gonna do a haul i'm gonna show you guys i got out my fall totes so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i have i did get a few new things added to my collection i call all of my season decor my collections because i've collected this stuff over many many years but yeah let's just jump right into it all things fall are kicking off on my channel starting today but let me take a little sip and we're gonna get started I don't know about you guys, but I wanted to wait till school started and then uh, my daughter went back to school um, this week. So I was like, it is time to get out the fall stuff and just to see what we have. There are a few things after I look through everything that I do want to order, but you guys will see those items. Like I know I need a new mat for the front door. Um, I do want to get like some moody, a moody like landscape piece. So I'm still on the hunt for those things, but you guys will see those when we are deep into decorating. Um, but first things first, I have everything sectioned off in different categories. Let's talk about pumpkins. I think um, for seasonal decor, some people for fall are like acorn girls or they like the mushroom thing. I am definitely a pumpkin girl and I have been for many, many years. I have pumpkins of all shapes, all sizes, all textures. Um, I'm not huge on tons of crazy colors, but I do love a little burnt orange and then, of course, my neutrals. So, first things first is this little beauty. I actually picked this up from Aldi. I didn't get to use it last um, year. I got it from Aldi last season. Didn't get to use it because I bought it like when the season was ending and they had things on like major clearance. But I love this. This variation, they have these at Target. I love the texture on it. It's kind of that concrete texture. Um, it's a little two-tone, but I love the shape of it. And I think that is how you're going to make your home cozy if you're not into a bunch of colors and stuff by switching up the textures. Um, it just gives it that cozy feeling. So love this pumpkin, love the different shape of it, and it is just a cutie and can't wait to finally use it in my seasonal decor. Um, next up, I have quite the collection of plush pumpkins, and this one is from Walmart. Um, it is so comfy, cozy. You could use it on a sofa or a bed if you would like. I think I'm going to use it on shelf styling, but I love it. It's very simple. Um, it has the cream and then a little bit of striping to add some, um, you know, a little bit of contrast, but love that. Love the stem, has different colors on it, and it has a little jute as well. So love the squishy plush um, fabric on this one. Next up, I am a velvet pumpkin girl. I love me some velvet pumpkins, and I have them in different sizes. This is my favorite burnt orange color. When you guys see me decorate, I will have it throughout my home. But this I picked up from um, years and years ago from actually my Albertsons, an Albertsons. So, you know like the grocery stores when they have the little home decor section? Got this. It came in different sizes. I have a big one. I have really small ones. And then I also have them in the white as well, but I love these. These are not the ones that you're gonna want to put on your sofa because that stem is pretty hard and that would, that would really jab you. But these are cute ones. I love to do a combination of these, styling them on my fireplace mantle. I just think they're really cute and I just love, love this orange color. I have many more of them, different sizes, like I said. Um, speaking of texture, I have quite a few of these pumpkins as well. These are from Target. Um, I love the jute on them. I love the stem as well. I think these are just so cute. And this texture, I love it to mix it in actually 
pretty much every season. I just believe that it adds warmth and coziness to your home. So love these from Target, nice and cute. And then more plush um, uh, pumpkins, more velvet, have them in. Um, next up for plush, I got these pumpkins. Um, these ones are from Big Lots. I got two of them. They didn't come in a set, but I just love them. I usually style them together, even though they're completely different. This is fluffy, dotted, this has stripes, but I like mixing textures and patterns and all of that stuff. But there are these nice, soft, cozy pumpkins, and they have the little stick as the stem. This one has like a stick as well, and it's also nice, soft, and plush. These you wouldn't style on a bed, like I said before, but you these are great to style on a kitchen table or anywhere in floating shelves, anywhere like that, and I just love mixing the different prints and patterns. Next up, I have quite a few of these. I didn't grab them all, but these come in a pack from Hobby Lobby. They bring them out every single year. Um, I have the neutral pattern ones, but they have um, more fun colors um, that you can do in the different, more traditional fall colors, some blues, um, the darker blues, some greens. So I love these little pumpkin pa um, packs. You can kind of stick them anywhere just to fill in those missing gaps. I have a few ceramic pumpkins. These are from Target, love these. They have the little gold stem on them. And then I have a few of these as well. These are, they're like a, um, a ceramic, but the texture of them feels kind of chalky. Um, they have a little brown stem, but love these kind of filling in those different areas. And then another ceramic pumpkin. Um, this one has like a little leaf print on it, the little brown um, stem, but this one is more glossy. And then I have another ceramic one, and this one is in that orange. So not as deep as this orange, but still a darker orange, more like my little coffee mug. So that color orange. And I like to add this throughout our home just to give it that little pop of color. And then my favorite new addition, pumpkin wise, my mom picked this up for me. She lives in Tennessee. We're in Texas, if you guys are new. But this is was from a vintage shop and it's so cute and so pretty. I do kind of do this bluish color in our bedroom, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be styling it in there. My bedroom is pretty neutral, but I do like to add that kind of seafoam bluish color in there, but love it. I really love the stem on this one, and I love incorporating vintage pieces. It just makes your home that much cozier, that much just unique to you, and um, it's not something, when we shop at the Hobby Lobbies in some of those stores, it's more items that everybody's gonna have, which is totally fine and great. I love those stores, shopped them all the time, but I do love to find those more unique pieces to just make your home stand out. So love this pumpkin and can't wait to use it this year. And then I do have this little speckled number. It's a brown one from Walmart and I love styling this throughout our home in different areas. Love the kind of stem on that one. And then this is also I, one of my favorite. I got this from Michaels many, many years ago. I love this. Not really, I guess it wouldn't be fall because it's a jack-o'-lantern and you can put a little um, tea light in there, but I will probably be styling it in my fall decor because I just love it so much. I have two of these and I had them for years and I just love them. That is the thing. Buy things that you love, not necessarily things that are trendy because you're gonna have them for years and years and just keep adding to your collection. So I just get so happy. My kids get happy too, because they just remember this. We've had this for many years, just bringing out this jack-o'-lantern and I just love it so much. Up close, it's kind of distressed, but this is my like fall personality. Love this little guy. 
Okay, and that is it for pumpkins, guys. So if you, like I said, and I didn't even bring them all out. Like a lot of these, I have multiples of the same thing. So I just brought out one or two to show you guys. But I love, you can tell by my mug, pumpkins. Pumpkins are my thing. I would say for Halloween, my thing are ghosts. Not scary ghosts, like fun, ghosts and bats, like fun cheerful ghosts and bats nothing scary but love me some pumpkins for speaking of my mantle i pick this up from amazon and it is a fall sign i kind of like my i know people don't really do signage and that stuff anymore but my little identity for each of the seasons i do love to get like it'll go up there a little sign or a banner or something like that for our mantle um, it's just really cute. I will have to tell you guys that the pumpkin does come a little bit um, like a light, light green color, but I just went over it with a little paint and painted it white because it goes more with our aesthetic and left that stem green, but love this little fall banner and can't wait to hang it up. It was like under $10 on Amazon, just a really good find. And then signage, don't do a ton of signage, but I do have a few pieces that I do like to bring out, back out year after year that are just um, special for our family. Um, the first one up is this fall in love sign. I pick this up from Hobby Lobby and I just love it. It's really simple, easy. Hobby Lobby, by the way, all of the fall decor is currently 40% off as the season progresses on, it will be more off. So um, sometimes those pieces that are really popular, you gotta snag them while you can, or you can wait if you would like to do that. But love this, really cute, fall in love sign, can't go wrong. The next one is this sign, it says give thanks. Um, it's just a really pretty neutral piece. I love the distressing on the outside. Also from, this one is actually from Michaels, but I just love it. It's simple. It has the 3D lever lettering, that galvanized metal again that I like to add in and throw in. Um, just love it. Okay guys, let's get to a few kitchen items. The first is this little pumpkin canister. Um, this one is from Target, but Michaels has them, and I know that um, Hobby Lobby has a ton. But this one is so stinking cute. Love the little top, it does come off. I always like to style it in my kitchen. You can put in some, the next item that I'm gonna say, some cute little spoons. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I picked them up this year. They're little pumpkin spoons and I think they are the cutest. So you can style those in here just sticking out. You can use these to stir your coffee, um, tea, whatever you would like, but love these. Only $9.99 and of course these are 40% off. So I got them for a steal. Next are these beautiful bowls, and these ones are from Home Goods, and they have the little pumpkin leaf motif around there. They look a little bit distressed. I love styling them in our kitchen. You can use them for different recipes or if you're hosting a party. Um, they are pretty good size, but love these. Super duper cute and so festive for this season. Next up, I have two cutting boards. Love me some cutting boards. The first one is this one. Um, it is the pumpkin motif. They have a variation of this one at Target, and then they also have it at Hobby Lobby. So love it, really cute. And then this is an older one. I got this years and years ago from Target, the Target dollar spot. But I keep it and I style it every season. It is just really cute and pretty and love putting this one out. I do love bringing out amber glass during this time of year. I love the warmth of the color and I have these two um, um, candle holders. These are from Target and they're just amber glass. You could use a stick candle in there or you could use a taller one. Um, last year, and they held up great, I DIY'd some candlesticks 
as you guys can see and I just stuck those in there. I'll probably stick them in there this year too because I still have a little bit left to burn but um, love these candlesticks. I usually get my candlesticks from Hobby Lobby. They have some of the best prices especially when things are on sale but Amazon also has great candlesticks as well and I've been looking into investing in those um, candle those not yeah those uh, wax sticks that are battery operated i think those are good especially for like the christmas time and all of that but love these little candle holders and can't wait to add amber glass to our decor um i also picked up some ribbon um i get my ribbon from hobby lobby this is a brand new pack this is in kind of that burnt orange color um, on camera I feel like it's coming up like kind of brown but it's definitely orange but love this um, can't wait to add it to just different things you can take your regular decor that you have out all the time if you add a little um, burnt orange ribbon it instantly becomes fall and festive for the season so love ribbon adding it to different neutral wreaths and all that stuff just to give it that little fall pop let's talk about pillows guys so the pumpkin pillows have been all the rage for probably the past two three years and i have a, a couple that i have invested in um this one is actually from um not Hobby Lobby. This one is from Big Lots, and I love this one. It's a really big size, bigger than my head. Um, I love the Sherpa texture of it and the little jute stem on it. I usually use this on my sofa. It's just really pretty there, and I love it. This one is way more affordable, and this one is from Walmart, and the best part, guys, look, it has a removable cover so you could take it out wash this part if you would like I want to say this one was probably under ten dollars I got it when it was on sale at the end of last year and I know that they are bringing back every store has them Kirkland's has the um, pillows um, like I said I got this one from big lots so a lot of people are you know have some variation of this I know you can even get them on Amazon which I believe they're under $15 but love this one because it does have that removable cover and it was super duper affordable and I got it off season so I really didn't get to decorate it with it last year I got it after the season but it was on a great sale and then I do love some bowl fillers just to use throughout the home and this one I have it I store mine like in a pack but this one is so pretty it comes with it has the little pumpkins I got I buy my bowl fillers usually always from um, home goods it comes with these bowl these balls and then these as well so and it does have some dried leaves so love this little bowl filler i just store mine in a little ziploc bag and use it year after year another one that i picked up and this one is from hobby lobby and it comes with little acorns and small little pumpkins and just simple bowl filler it's actually a pretty big bag i've only used like half of it and a little project that i was doing but love this bowl filler and hobby lobby stuff is 40 percent off so you can't go wrong and then last but not least, let's talk about fall florals. I have, like I said, I am on the hunt for a new wreath or something for the front door, but I have this little one that I use to style inside. Um, speaking of the front door, I will do like a decorate with me inside. I will also do like a kid friendly um, decorate with me just on our upstairs my daughter's rooms up there her playrooms up there just everything fun and kid friendly and I will be doing a separate front porch video where because I didn't bring in any of that stuff like our sign and all that stuff so you guys will see that in that video but I do have this little wreath I picked this up last year from Target it's in kind of that like that wheatgrass and um, I love it I love to use it as like a little candle holder or you could put 
whatever kind of in the middle or you can even use it as a wreath it does have a little hanging in the back so love this this is from the hearth and hand collection and it's just a great little fun addition to our fall decor and then last but not least i have quite a few florals i have them all bunched together but i love kind of the bushels they're kind of my favorite so i love these burnt orange ones i usually gather my floral from either michael's hobby lobby or home goods and then i love this little pick that has and these are from home goods that has the little pumpkin on it i think those are so cute but this is kind of a montage of our florals i do have some faux mums as well that i like to add in but that is just about it guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i can't wait for all of the fall content to come i will see you guys very soon bye everybody mm -hmm.